Let's say you run your own plumbing business and you want to know whether your finances are in good enough shape for you to safely take a holiday. Apart from checking how much money you have in your bank account and taking a look at how much money your most recent clients should pay you soon, you also want to know what kind of bills you need to pay over the next few months. What you really want to know is what your short-term financial obligations are, and the best place to find this is in the current liabilities section of your business's balance sheet. You see, current liabilities are financial obligations, or debts, a business owes that must be paid for within the next 12 months. So, by taking a look at the current liabilities section of your balance sheet, you can get an idea of how much cash you'll need to pay out in the short term. If the total of your current liabilities is too high, you may need to cancel your holiday plans and keep working to earn more money to cover your upcoming bills. On the other hand, if you hardly have any current liabilities compared with your current assets, which is made up of the cash you have in the bank now and how much cash you expect to receive soon from your customers, you should be safe to put your tools down and go on that much needed holiday. So as you can see, getting familiar with your current liabilities is important when running a business. And now that you know this, let's see what are some of the more common current liabilities and also a few that you may not be familiar with. One of the most common current liabilities is called accounts payable, and it's made up of any bills you need to pay within the next 12 months. Let's say that in your plumbing business, you purchased $500 worth of supplies from a local hardware store, but instead of paying cash, they gave you an invoice with terms of 30 days. This means you now have an obligation to pay $500 within 30 days, which is well inside the next 12 months, so it becomes an accounts payable item in your accounts. Similarly, if you need to pay any taxes within the next 12 months, whether it be GST, VAT, income tax, or anything else, the obligation to pay is recorded in your books as a current liability. The name of the liability will be something like sales tax payable or income tax payable, depending on the type of tax you need to pay. Another current liability that may apply to your plumbing business is called unearned revenue. If a client pays you in advance, you have an obligation to either do some work for the client or refund their money. Because this financial obligation must be settled within the next 12 months, you should record its value as a current liability in your accounts. Other common types of current liabilities include things like loan repayments that need to be made within the next year, and for companies, any dividends that have been declared but are not yet paid. And finally, if you employ staff, any salaries, wages, pension contributions or taxes that are due but have not yet been paid should be recorded in your accounts as current liabilities. So there you have it. Now you know what current liabilities are and why they're important. The lower the total of your current liabilities, especially when compared to your current assets, the healthier your business will be in the short term and the more likely it is that you can put your tools down and go on a holiday. To find out what non-current liabilities and contingent liabilities are, check out the links to our videos in the description below. Also, check out our channel and the links below for more videos on assets and liabilities and how to use financial ratios to compare them and assess the health of your business.